Hello everybody, I'm going to be going over Nessus and ACAS 101 with a lab at the end. So what is Nessus? Nessus is a remote security scanning tool which scans computers and identifies vulnerabilities by scanning the system registry, files, ports, missing patches, misconfigurations, and software flaws. Nessus plugins can use the common vulnerabilities and exposure architecture for easy cross-linking. New exploits are being identified every day, so it is important to monitor and scan systems daily so vulnerabilities can be identified and remediated. While Nessus is a subscription-based vulnerability scanner, you can download Nessus Essential for free and follow along with the labs. Nessus Essential doesn't expire and you can scan up to 16 IP addresses. So you may be asking, well, what is a plugin? Nessus writes plugins using the Nessus proprietary scripting language called Nessus Attack Scripting Language, NASL. The plugin will contain vulnerability information, remediation recommendations, or actions. The script will test for the presence of security issues. The plugin can be associated with the common vulnerability scoring system, CVSS, V2, and V3 simultaneously to help calculate the determining factors. Once vulnerabilities become public, Nessus will go about pushing a plugin to identify the vulnerability. It is important for customers to ensure they receive plugin to update feeds daily to stay current with the latest vulnerabilities. Each plugin has a plugin ID for the detected vulnerability. Paid Nessus subscriptions like the Security Center can provide plugin details and the source NASL code. Not all plugins provide NASL. So here's an example of a Nessus plugin page. If we take a look here, this plugin is used to identify a vulnerability within the Linux kernel. So it's for the Ubuntu 18.04 LTS Linux kernel AWS vulnerability. And we can see the plugin severity is high. The identification number for this plugin is 166156. And it's usually only six numbers. And if we go on to the second page here, uh, we, looking up to the right, you can see the uh, risk factor is median for CVSS V2 and high for CVSS V3. And you can also see the CVSS source, which is CVE-2022-31718. And so you can see down here it even provides a solution, update the affected kernel package, and um, it provided a description of, of the uh, plugin as well. So this is all valuable information that can be utilized by cybersecurity analysts. Okay, so next let's talk about credential scan and non-credential scan. Nessus allows you to provide credentials so it can provide more insight into the system vulnerabilities. The credentials applied to Nessus are used to authenticate and scan files with special permissions. When credentials are not provided to Nessus, the scan is considered to be non-credential. It is best practice to conduct a credentialed scan so to identify more vulnerabilities. Okay, what is vulnerability management? Vulnerability management is a process of identifying, evaluating, treating, and reporting on security vulnerabilities in a system. Automation and scanning can assist with identifying vulnerabilities and prioritizing them. Vulnerability management can be broken down into four steps. Step one, identifying vulnerabilities through scanning or correlating system information. And you can imagine this is when Nessus actually does its scan. Step two, evaluating vulnerabilities through determining the risk, impact, and scope. So this can be done when you're actually looking at which plugins are critical or which CVEs are, are high. And at that point, you would determine um, 
whether or not the system that is affected by the vulnerability is uh, critical to the organization. Because if it's critical to the organization and the vulnerability has a high severity rating, then you want to ensure that you patch that system. And then also determining how many systems are affected by that vulnerability. So at that point, you're starting to scope out which systems are affected. And step three, treating vulnerabilities through remediation, mitigation, or acceptance. So at this point, you're going to determine whether or not you want to patch the systems or harden them. And if you're not going to patch it or harden it, then you want to make sure that you document that you've accepted the risk. And step four, reporting vulnerabilities through vulnerability assessments. So these Nessus scans can be very valuable and can be used for vulnerability assessments. And this is a continuous task where you're going to have to constantly scan your systems. So what is ACAS? ACAS is the Assured Compliance Assessment Solution. Vulnerability scanning is mandated and it's uh, required for systems that are operated by the DoD per task word 20-0020. Uh, operating system should use tenable.sc security center, Nessus vulnerability scanner, Nessus agents, and Nessus network monitoring. Commands are subject to Kokori inspections, so it is imperative to implement ACAS suits of tools and have an effective vulnerability management process. This ACAS solution allows for centralized management of consolidated data. This data can be used for data visualization, dashboards, and reporting compliance. Please see uh, my video later on where I'm going to teach you how to create a dashboard from your Nessus results. And we'll also be creating a lab environment with a Windows 2019 server and we'll connect a Windows 10 host. Then we'll install Nessus onto the Windows 10 host and scan both the Windows 10 host and the uh, Windows 2019 server. We'll take those Nessus results and analyze them. Also, we'll update both systems. And at the end, we'll see um, We'll, we'll see which plugins have, have been remediated from that update and which plugins have not. Then we'll go about installing some software, some additional software, and then do a scan out once we install those software packages. And uh, again, we'll, we'll scan it before and after the update and analyze those. Then we'll take those results and those reports and ingest them into um, Power BI for business intelligence, and we'll analyze the results of those. That can be extremely helpful when you're trying to let management know your progress and how many systems are actually within scope of a vulnerability and how many systems have been remediated. All right, let's go ahead and move on.